So today uh, I used my rotary file set and uh, finished the trim on the bottom of the helmet. I had rough, rough cut it earlier with the uh, uh, basically a jigsaw and a coping saw. So now without major trauma, I can leave it on. Now unfortunately I don't have a microphone that I can put inside of this. Um, sounds pretty weird. A lot of echo. Um, I get some, um, almost a resonance kind of going on in here. Kind of like your head in the seashell, I guess. So, once I figured that out. Alright. I thought the one thing that it needs is I'm going to need to be able to wear a headset inside. Because that would make sense, so you can actually, you know, hear what's going on. So, and of course you never think about this when, uh, when you're designing and it doesn't fit. Okay. Not being one to give up on the first sign of problems, because I'm not that smart, I did figure out that if I put the headphones in first. Oops. This does take a couple tries. Oops, that actually might work if I hold them like so. sound inside the helmet and I don't hear the echo as bad so and there's plenty of room and the green really shows up so that's kind of cool so and then of course you can't get it off but if you reach up inside pull the ear pieces out that's right off so not too bad now the Apollo astronauts, obviously what the difference was is their head hole is a little bit bigger because they had the soft helmet that they put on and then the helmet went over top. Soft helmet had all of the, the headphones and the microphone and a couple of things. Plus the idea of the soft helmet is it wouldn't, you would, um, it would soak up the sweat a little bit so it wouldn't run in your eyes, which would be a big deal. So anyway, just wanted to get that on camera. <laughs> 